The Millennium Tower is a 58-story, 645-foot-tall luxury residential building located in the heart of San Francisco. Opening in 2009, it is the tallest residential skyscraper in the city. The average sales price of one of its 419 condos is a staggering $2 million. However, below the beautiful facade, there lies a geotechnical nightmare that has plagued the building and its residents for nearly a decade. Let's take a deeper look into what some people have termed the Leaning Tower of San Francisco. The foundation design of the Millennium Tower consists of a 10-foot thick concrete mat foundation supported by 950 reinforced concrete piles known as friction piles. These piles have been driven to a depth of between 60 to 90 feet within the dense coma sand layer below the artificial fill and soft sediment layers of the city. During the design of this foundation system, engineers expected primary and secondary sediment to be four to six inches. However, even before construction had been completed in 2009, sediment had already reached 10 inches. While the piles were sitting within the dense sand layer, it was within the underlying Old Bay clay layer where the unanticipated consolidation occurred. The tower had placed more stress on this layer than any other building in the area. In addition to the increased loading from the building, continual groundwater drawdown during basement excavation, as well as from other adjacent construction projects, led to the accelerated settlement. By 2016, these factors had led the building to settle 16 inches, including an uneven distribution of the settlement, causing a northwestern tilt. The building has continued to sink with the current depth now at 18 inches and a northwestern tilt of 22 inches. A report commissioned by the Homeowners Association indicated that the structure could sink 31 inches before settlement ends, if no corrective measures are taken. A 2017 inspection deemed the building safe, noting the structure could lean up to 5 feet and still withstand a major earthquake. However, there is still a fear that the building's mechanical systems will fail. In addition, visible cracking has been documented in the basement and sidewalks, and residents have reported uneven flooring and doors not properly closing. After a class action lawsuit between the homeowners and the building's developer, engineers from Simpson, Gumperts, and Hager developed a repair plan in 2018. This plan, estimated to cost $100 million, was to construct a perimeter upgrade of 52 additional piles into the underlying bedrock. This would include extending the building's concrete slab around the new piles and hydraulically jacking the foundation to lift and transfer the load. The intent of the plan is to relieve stress on the building's north and west sides to stop further settlement and recover a portion of the building's tilt. Ultimately, the goal is to transfer a portion of the building's load to the new piles to alleviate the excessive pressure on the Old Bay clay layer. Once the jacking operation is complete, each pile will be encased in a concrete vault and fully backfilled. Construction began on these repairs in May of 2021, but soon after starting, the tilting and sinking of the tower actually began accelerating. While conducting drilling operations, the vibrations and disturbance through the Old Bay clay layer was actually causing settlement to increase and forced the repair operation to halt three months later in August of 2021. After the failure of the first repair plan, the engineer developed a revised design that included only 18 new piles. Following extensive analysis and stress tests, the design team determined that the piles could handle more weight than previously proposed. Again, at a cost of nearly $100 million, these concrete piles encased in steel will be driven over 250 feet into the bedrock, utilizing improved excavation and vibration techniques. As of January 2023, the revised design is showing promise. The building's north side has been stabilized with the support of six piles, while work continues along the west side. Even though the repair operation is not expected to finish until September, the initial phase is exceeding the design team's projections and substantially stopping additional sediment. The City of San Francisco continues to conduct weekly monitoring of the structure while repairs are being made including utilizing inclinometers, piezometers, extensive monitors, pile load cells, and crack gauges. While the new foundation system is designed to fully stabilize the structure from further sinking, it will not fully address the lean. This plan will only offset the northwestern tilt by 4.5 inches. Despite repair efforts, Millennium Tower will continue to be the leaning tower of San Francisco. It is an example of what can go wrong when failing to design a deep foundation system that fully takes into account the building's load and its geotechnical subsurface.